Hi guys, what we're going to do today is a quick peanut butter and chocolate cake. So we're just going to start off by putting our caster sugar into our bowl, our peanut butter. This is a really quick and simple cake. Doesn't matter whether you use smooth or crunchy peanut butter. This one I'm using smooth, but you can use whichever you prefer. Then we're going to go in with a little bit of milk and three egg yolks. So we're just going to give that a nice stir together. Just so it's all incorporated in. You can see that. Then we're going to go in with our self-raising flour. Give that a nice stir through, get it all combined. Now this mixture will become quite stiff. You just want to mix it all so it's a thick paste. So you've got that sort of texture. And then here I've got the three egg whites which I've just whisked up to stiff peaks. So what we do is we go in with those and now we give that a good stir to incorporate all of that in together. So it will end up with a nice fluffy batter. This is a great one to get the children cooking because it's so, so simple. So nearly there. Just make sure it's all incorporated in together. There we go. Now you should have a nice smooth batter that looks like that. Then we're going to go in with most of our chocolate chunks. This is just a bar of dark chocolate that I've just smashed up. Not into uniform sizes, you just want it higgledy piggledy sizes. Stir those through. Right. Then I've got an 18 centimetre cake tin that I've just lined with greaseproof paper. And then we go in with our batter. Try and make sure you get all of your batter in. Let's put that to one side. The last bits out. Make sure none of this is wasted. There you go. So that's all of that into a cake tin. Then we're just going to scatter over the last few bits of chocolate over the top. Just randomly dot them about. And then this is going to go into a preheated oven on 160 degrees for about 40 minutes. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we'll check it, we'll put, pop a skewer into it. As long as the skewer comes out clean, then that's the cake done. So we'll come back when it's been in the oven for about 40 minutes. Right, so this has baked for 40 minutes. Um, as you can see, it's lovely and all the chocolatey bits all stay on the top. Um, I tested it with a skewer and the skewer's come out clean so we know that the cake is cooked. And then all I've done is I had some cherry conserve, which I've 
heated up in a saucepan, put through a sieve, and then we've just got like a nice, lovely sauce. And in here, I've got two tablespoons of peanut butter, one tablespoon of icing sugar, and a little bit of water, just to make it a, a drizzle consistency. So all I'm gonna do is just give a drizzle now across the top of the peanut butter. And then the same with the cherry. And there you go. There is our peanut butter and cherry cake. Give it a go.